look, it's land though your bitch, not don't let your bitch go, man. It's the motherfucking hip hop that one, man. Follow up, what's the deal, My bro? My dog, you all right? Yeah, we supposed to link up, you know what I'm saying, do this interview. Period. Yeah, finally got it out the way. Period. So, uh, you know what I'm saying, just to jump into it, everybody who know who you is, just give them a little introduction on what Yenum is, you feel me? Uh, Yenum is, um, that's the, that's the, the shirt company. Um, and then that's the, the first album that I had put out back in March. Yeah. So that's Yenum 1. Yenum 2 just came out November 7th. So what what made you want to drop two CDs in one year? I, I didn't plan it like that. It just happened like that? It just happened like that. Period. Yeah, because the music, I was recording music. And then after the first Yenum pack came out, um, I knew I needed to put something else out to keep creating the buzz. Right? But when I put the first one out, uh, it caught a lot of people's attention just off of the, the, the shirt alone. Right, they thought it was a t-shirt and it wasn't at first. So I ran with it. So then it was like, oh, I could do Yenum 2. And then it just started to build up. So that's just how it happened. So what exactly is Yenum? You know, it's money spelled backwards. But what made you like, like, so would you get some, some shirts pressed up and then a nigga spelled the shirt wrong? So you was like, that's the Yenum, I'm about to with that shit. <laughs> no, I can't or get like, nobody that. No, 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 look, that was like this, seeing, coming up with album covers, like ideas, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm like, damn, what can I name my album? to make it just something that was simple but still would spark your, you know, like spark your interest. Spark your interest. So uh, I just put it, I wrote it. Um, and it was never a shirt. If you look at the first album cover, it looks like I have on the Yenum t-shirt, but I really don't, right? So then when it came out, everybody was like, oh, what's up with that shirt? Right. And that's how it led into being the t-shirt too. It never was, it never was supposed to be a shirt ever. That's not even how, it just naturally happened that way. So like I, I know you said you was uh you was doing traveling and shit, you about to go back to, you know what I'm saying, Baltimore and shit. Like right. what, what's what's your relationship with that city? Like, well really just the whole East Coast. Period. Lately, yeah. Like I've been on the East Coast a lot, like New York, um, and then Baltimore, DC, that whole area, it just got a it got a good pace. You know what I'm saying? So it just helped doing this music and branding and all of that. It helps being out there because, you know, you you at access to more People, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah. a lot more plugs. Like you would bump into somebody, like walking around, you might hit, you might find some, you know what I'm saying, a plug. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah that's that's really that. Um, but you know, the Yenum been it's been it's been carrying my whole brand. Like it went from you know the first album, then I probably would have ended up going to another album that would have canceled it out. Now it then turned into a whole much bigger thing. Like a whole city. Yeah, a whole yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't even know it was even going that way. Um, so you know now you get the, the shirts and then it, it'll go into a full. It's turned into a full clothing line. You know what I'm saying? All off just that one idea. Right. You know what I'm saying? So in a way, uh, it was like a genius idea that I didn't even you know I didn't know it was gonna happen that way. On this project, you got uh, you got a lot of big name features. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. On Young Two. Yeah. You got uh, Peasy. Yeah. Uh, McNichols. Yeah. Name Dot. Yeah. Uh, Dollar. Dollar, yeah, yeah. So I mean, how, how did you, you know, what I'm saying, you gonna start off with Dame, you feel me? Cause for anybody who know Dame, he don't really fuck with a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so how did y'all link up, man? You know, what I'm saying, he end up being on his seat. Me and Dame, uh, go to, we was going to the same studio, and uh, when we linked up, we just the two young niggas, you know, what I'm saying, that could rap. So you know, he would come through, create beats, like he worked hard in the studio. And he seen me working hard, he like, bro, jump on this. I jumped on it, and then it led to just numerous, numerous songs. So even if you listen to one of his albums, I might be on like four songs. You know what I'm saying? On one album. So, but that was that's all my relationships. Like even with Dan, they all natural relationships. Like they, those is my my friends. Like my brothers, I call them on the phone. We talk about you know other shit. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Peasy and McNichols. McNichols is, I met him, you know what I'm saying? That plug came through a family friend. We both had mutual uh, people that's like family to me, and that's like family to him. And when they introduced us, we was just fam, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like, even me and him, we would lock in the studio, do three or four songs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got songs with these people on ice that's, that haven't even come out yet, but we really get in the studio and lock in. Same with Peasy. Um, I met Peasy through Dame, actually. He had brought him through the studio. And then back in March when Yenum came out, the first one, PZ had checked it out. We, his, I think his album had, one of his albums had just came out. And I was listening to his, so I'm like, check out Yenum. So he played it and he hit me up like, bro, you're doing some good shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, 
you know, everybody that heard the music, I don't try to make it different, but they, they get something from it. You know what I'm saying? And they have a problem showing me no respect with it, but we real niggas, you know what I'm saying? So when we link up, it's just like real nigga shit. We just kick it and it, you know what I'm saying, be like that.